Hi, I'm quite tired today. How about that? So I'm doing a Euro demo. Sounds like a perfect way to go about doing tiredness. Uh, welcome back to the next installment of the Euro demo series. Uh, today we are doing Euro demo Future 94. Uh, nine playable content. Uh, the majority of it is actually quite short. Um, so uh, yeah, we probably won't be on this one for too long. This actually could be one of the shorter Euro demo Futures. So uh, yeah. So we got Colony Wars, Red Sun, Cool Borders 3, Dancing Stage, Party Edition, Jinx, Mr. Driller, Siphon Filter Suit, Fiend Hospital, Treasure Planet, or Disney's Treasure Planet, uh, Free Rally 2, Boogie 1, Land Result 01, Hugo, The Evil Mirror, and The Downloader. Okay, so let's get started with Colony Wars, Red Sun. Um, so, I believe Hugo and Boogie Wonderland are videos. Everything else on here is playable. And the downloader has its own demos and stuff. Like, right, demo saves, as you've always seen. <laughs> so. Probably gonna be the same Colony Norse Red Sun demo we've always played before. We've done escort duty, let's try defense. We usually do the escort one. Um, see how this goes. He's down. Oh. 
Oh, well. Yeah, well, made it as far as we did, didn't we? So, maybe one day I'll beat that one. But it's not this time. I've got some new demo discs. Um, quite a few different ones. You did it freeze? No. Taking its sweet holy time, didn't it? There we go. Okay, next up is Cold Border Spree. What are the chances that I'm going to suck at this? 100% uh, probably. <laughs> um. Throughout the entire year demo series, I've just sucked at cool borders. And it seems like I'm doing okay at the minute. Sorry? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Quite well. Oh dear. Oh then. Oh we go.
Yeah, I didn't do much better at that, but at least we did better than last time. Right, next up, Dancing Stage Party Edition, which we already know it's quite short. It's literally one song, but we can't do all of the uh, combinations in the game because we don't have a dance map. Classic Konami logo. Everybody's waiting for you. That's true. Give it your best shot. Two user songs here. This is a pretty good song. Let's try trick okay. just for a laugh. Obviously, we might fail, but never know, do you? Okay, it's doable. It is doable on D pad, which is pretty cool. Surprising move. C grade. Give it your best shot. Okay, moving on. I did start select there, but we only need to do one stage. All right, next up is Jinx. And this one's quite short as well, probably about like five or six minutes at max. Maybe ten, pushing it. Okay, so last time we did the Mamu City demo, so let's do the Shalos Creed demo. I also really got a lot of like Stuart Little live vibes from this game. Welcome to the dark ground. Let's go. Why is it vibrating that controller for? <laughs> I 
Hello, mate. Oh, no. Okay, no worries. Whoa, what the fuck? Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I need the key in the middle. No! <sighs> oh. Okay. That's all right. Oh, hang on. You reckon?
Ah. Okay, what? Why did I slide in there? Game over. Why did it slide me in there for? Oh well, got to go. Alright, next up, Mr. Driller. This won't take two minutes. And that's the end of the Mr. Driller demo. Not even two minutes. <laughs> okay, next up is Cypher 42. This is the train mission again. Gabe, yep. Are you there? Yeah. Open fire! Part of me wants to go back for that black armor. No, stop firing.
take the armor. Please take the armor. There we go. Oh. There we go, finally. I waste all my ammo though. Oh. One more go. Shit, no. Ah. Oh. I start select because I'll see that game. I just struggle with. Next up, Fiend Hospital. Okay.
Get a nice GP's office. Okay, let's get some shit plonked down. So, we need to make our hospital nice and comfortable for all our patients, as we always like to. Uh, the hospital from hell. Um, I think I might have bought one too, many two ben uh, one too many benches, but it's okay. I have nothing to complain about then, will they? Get our nice Kit Kat vending machines nice and placed. There we go. Oh, we've got another one as well. Now we'll just plonk it right next to there. Another reception desk. We'll stick it there. And another one there. Fire extinguisher has got to be safe. We'll stick that there. One there. And one just in this corner here. And radiators. Uh, I guess. Oh, not quite there, but never mind. And there. And then some plants there. Oh, wait, there. And there. See a pharmacy there. Okay, the hospital is open. All right, let's get a GP's office down. get ourselves a cardiogram because you know everything is important in hospitals maybe not necessarily mine but they might Yeah. 
We're going to need some more receptionists. go. Lovely bit of ward. Facilities. Oh, we need a staff room, don't we? I'll just plonk it in the middle here. Perfect. Okay. Okay, and then another one of these, and then that's what we call done with the GP's office, because I think we've got more than enough now to cure 20 people. Perfect. Right, and then we need to get some doctors. Ah, it appears we can't do anything else. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. Bloaty head. Inflation room. Need 4K, damn it. Okay, it appears we're struggling a little bit to uh, get enough for the old uh, inflation room. We're having a little bit of a problem.
I've got minus 277 for quid here. This ain't good. I don't think we're going to do it. we got seven. We might get close, but I don't think we're going to get enough to do it. There's no one's coming into the hospital. Why is no one coming into the hospital? Hey, there's a guy with nothing there. I don't think we're winning this one, boys. Kind of fucked up somewhere, and I don't know quite where. Yeah, we ain't gonna do it. Oh no! <sighs> What's happened then? Why, why, why is, where have we gone wrong? Whoa, he's running. Yeah, I've gone wrong somewhere and I don't know where.
Great. Well, uh, we're not going to beat the demo this time round. We beat it the other two times, but somewhere today I went wrong, and I'm not really too sure where. Um... We've got nine, I suppose. It'll be worth it. No, I got ten there. We're halfway. And there it goes. Yeah. Uh, oh Oh well. <laughs> okay, next up, Disney's Treasure Planet. I'll do the Montressa. Ah, yes. This is the town of Benbo on the mining planet of Montressa. But then, being born here, you know all that, don't you, Jim? It's not the most exciting place in the galaxy, but we all have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Treasure chests are armored. The only way to open them is by combining brute force and a big, sharp object, like your sword, for instance. Okay, let's go. Crates are vulnerable to any form of attack you inflict upon them, be it from the employment of your laser or your sword. Okay. The mechanism for this door appears to be missing a standard power diode. If you locate one and bring it back, the door should work perfectly. Yeah, there you go. Up. 
There we go. Oh, that's up there, some movie clips, not wrong. To utilize the laser, you must look down the barrel. Your target will change from green to red when it passes over something you can damage. You'll unleash a small charged plasma bolt at your target. Okay, so I'm shooting for some reason. Maybe I need to charge it. I remember what you have to do. Stand on one of those pads, then you'll charge up your plasma musket. There we go. I also remember you got to get a hundred coins as well. Oh, you bastard. You will discover that certain objects are light enough for you to push around. If you walk up to an object and attempt to push it, you may succeed in moving the object. But remember, Jim, you are not an irresistible force. Some objects are quite stubborn and may just not move. <laughs> Let's go.
can just get up onto that um, platform there. Okay. Oh, killed it, okay. seven more coins. Okay, we got a hundred. I got a hundred and one just in case. This door appears to be locked, Jim. Looks like you'll need to zap a switch somewhere in the immediate vicinity. That may open it right up. Yeah, I kind of opened it up ages ago, mate. <laughs> is to enter the mine unless they are a miner or an official union member. But if you really want to... Here's the hundred drabloons for my union initiation fee. 
Welcome to the Interstellar Union of Miners. You will find that many doors are now open to you, including this one. There, boy. You look like you could use a lift. <laughs> it's also my job to. Yes, yeah, sure, I'll use the lift. Yeah, now we're at this bit. Let's go. The mine's been overrun by bandits, and they're trying to destroy the generators. If they succeed, we'll all be trapped down here. Can you help us? You got it. I'll help stop the bandits and defend those generators. All right, let's do it. Generate them. I do know where they are, so that's handy.
No! Oh. Okay, that helps actually. One left. There we go. You did it! You saved us! Oh, now that the lift's working, we can all get out of the mine. As a token of our gratitude, please, take this. We found it hidden in the mine. It's my responsibility to operate this here lift system. Are you wanting to take a ride on the lift? Yes. I'll be good. So, Jim, have we finished our adventures in the sunny town of Benbo? Yes. And that was Treasure Planet. It's not too bad. All right, what's next? Next up is V Rally 2, the last playable demo. Which I actually don't think will work because it never works on PS3, does it? Straight away, oh, never mind. I was about to say, I thought it froze. Blimey, it's working, hang on. That's very unusual. Wow. Three, so demo does work. Two, one, go! Medium right, very long, open. I'm very surprised, actually, because many demo discs that we've played this game on the past are frozen and then freezes every time we Medium load right, it. Long, open. But, it turns out, Eurodemo 94 
Fast left, long right. Oh, it's to have the game working. Fast right, long into medium left, very long, tighten. Fast right, long over crest. Medium left, very long, tighten, over crest, fast right, long. It actually plays quite nicely as well. Fast right, long, into medium right, long. Fast right, long, and fast left, very long, tighten. Fast left, long, tighten. Fast left, long, tighten. Over crest. Fast right, long, over crest. Medium left, long. Fast right, long. Max right, long, and max left, long. Medium left, long. Medium right, long, open. That's actually quite fluid, medium actually left, long. like this. That's quite fun to drive. Fast right, long. Fast left, very long, open. Into medium left, long. Fast left, long, tighten. No, nope, yeah. Stuck on. I don't even know. Finish. No. Well, I was actually really surprised that worked because usually it freezes at the menu screen. How oh, cool. I mean, it's basically one though. Why doesn't it work on other discs? Even after a reset. How odd. However, I do think it's froze here. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, I do think it's froze here, but at least it froze there. <laughs> That's the main thing. Doesn't hurt doing a reset. But hey, we got to play it. Gotta be happy with that. Okay, next up is Boogie Wonderland, result one. I'm just going to quickly open up the cover to see what this is all about. The first Boogie Land one, the first Boogie Land winner. Oh, it's a competition. Just like running a month and goal of the month. This is Boogie Wonderlands. Well,
Well, congratulations to Amy, uh, who, uh, whoever that was. <laughs> cool moves. All right, moving on. Next up is Hugo, the evil mirror. And this is also a video. The little troll is back for more. See the game and hear why it'll be better this time round, apparently. That's what it says on the disc. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most beautiful of all? Oh, great. Shot. As with all the games that we have developed, we start out by creating a story frame for the game Evil Mirror. Now usually we take a look inside the great book of troll stories, a book that contains all the earlier adventures of Hugo, and uh, it's quite a good source of inspiration. When we found the story, uh, we start designing the game, and this is where the game designer comes into the picture. It is the game designer's job to create a gameplay that fits the story and the atmosphere, and it's the game designer's job to create tracks and characters and obstacles that Hugo will meet in the game. These questions have to be thought of very carefully, so the illusion is always maintained. When the game description are in place, the game designer hands it over to the uh, art director. Mm. Then I will try to uh, translate this description into a, a graphic style in which will make the environment and atmosphere believable. I then draw enemies, obstacles and tracks in uh, different angles. Hi boss. Hello boss. Let me see what you got. We'll start uh, creating the enemies and the obstacles for the game. When building the game track, we start by creating a basic mesh and we'll give it textures and assign light to it. Welcome to the toughest race of the year! with the wildest pigs controlled by those most fearless Vikings. At the same time, the programmers are working to build the game's functionality. It's very important that the obstacles and enemies react in the right way at the right time. This way, the player will gradually understand the game. The sound engineer creates sound effects for obstacles, enemies, and animations. And we create a whole environment of sound, music, and speech for the game. It's pretty interesting how you see them to de develop the game, isn't it? In order to understand the story better, we make short animated film sequences. Well, the police be about ready. All we need now is you can lead it. With the wild I'll pop through it a minute. <laughs> I hope I'm not spoiling a nice family moment, am I? <laughs> Get out of my house, sinner. You know you're not welcome. Oh, oh no. no! Daddy! <laughs> Dear little troll. Oh, so clever. Caught in the mirror's embrace. You'll disappear without trace. Be gone for now. Be gone forever. Oh, Daddy. Now I just need.
need to find Yugalina. From the script, the storyboarder will draw the entire storyboard, which is then filmed and edited with sound effects and dialogue to have a better understanding of... I will admit this demo's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. Now all that's left is to animate the sequences. In this game, it's in fact my children who play the leading roles. Sensibly and systematically, they free me from the curse of the... Stop, stop. Sit still, <laughs> just for one moment. Red, what are you doing under that table? No, no, Red, <laughs> don't pull that thing there. Okay, who turned off the light? We also have quite a few new characters that spend their time making it difficult for Reed, Red and Root to find and assemble the mirror fragments. Stop there! I have a very important message for the Emperor. Yeah. In the game, I make all my own stunts. But everything must come to an end, and so must this story. Your beauty will be mine forever. What? <laughs> if there's a happy end, well, that's for the players to see too. There you go. Get the end. Yeah. Just took a minute. <laughs> All right. Right. Last thing on the disc. Downloader. We got so we have. Oh, wow, there's quite a few things on here. Okay, devil dice 100 puzzle stages unlocked, Colony Wars Aurora, access to the fourth space station. Colony Wars Asteroid, the fifth space station. Fear Effect Disc 3. Whoa, that's Disc 3. This must be Disc 4. Yep. Okay, Final Fantasy 8. Just Final Fantasy 8. Gran Turismo. All the licenses in gold and all available circuits in Gran Turismo mode. That's alright. Uh, Medal of Honor is just Medal of Honor. So, oh, Tony Hawk skateboarding. Yeah, just probably just a save file. Tomorrow never dies. And that is it. That is it for the downloader. And that was Euro Demo Future ninety four. Took a bit longer than I thought. Considering that that most of the stuff on here is actually quite short, but it seems as though the time was eaten up by Theme Hospital and Disney's Treasure Planet. Um, but everything else on here is quite short. Um, so yeah, there you go. But even that video is longer than some of these other games. Um, but yeah, there you go. All right then, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, one thing I will say is the interface looks fucking cool. I've got to say this at the start, but it generally looks really good. Thought um, I'll compliment it now while I can. Um, but yeah. Anyways, that's me done. Take care. See you guys in Euro Demo Number Future. Oh, Euro Demo Future 95. Take it easy.